So we are day two into our shoot with the Vitpillen 701. It's late October, we're in the English Lake District and that means there's some fantastic scenery and colouring as well, but now there's also a real drop in the temperature and the weather that we have too. Day one we're at the airfield and we had a fantastic day. We we're really lucky, it was cloudy overhead but it was dry all day. Today is much, much colder and it's also due to rain later as well, so I've changed the gear that I've been using. We're also testing some new products too. So without further ado, we're gonna get on to these fantastic roads that we've got and then we're going to stop later to tell you all about the products that I've been using. So we've done our riding now and as you can imagine we've had a fantastic time riding one of my all-time favourite motorcycles on some of the most scenic roads in the UK. Not only has the bike been fantastic but the gear has also been fantastic too and that's what I want to talk to you through right now. So to start off with, today I've been wearing the Max base layer. Now I often don't wear base layers, but every time I do, I'm reminded why they're so awesome. And the dual active base layer really helps to regulate your temperature, no matter what is going on weather-wise, and just keeps you really, really comfortable. And then of course, the foundation of my upper body protection is the Urban Pro shirt. This is a product that I use 365 days, all year round, any season, any weather, and I just layer up over the top of it. Um, a really, really fantastic product. And then obviously, as it's got colder, I've had to have another layer on as well. So I've chosen the Knox Quilted Jacket. This is an absolutely phenomenal product made with a downproof polyester. And then it's got an Invista Thermalite insulation, which is really, really warm. Now, technically, you can either wear this underneath your Urban Pro or over the top. Really, in terms of performance, it's not making too much difference whether you wear it over the top or underneath. Today, I've chosen to wear it over the top. So you might not be able to tell, but it's just started spitting now. And while we haven't been caught out yet, um, there was a fair chance of us doing so. So I've always make sure that I've brought my waterproof uh, jacket and trousers and I put them inside my rider rucksack. They are the perfect layers because obviously in unpredictable weather, you don't exactly know what it's gonna do. As soon as it starts raining, I just chuck them on over the top. They fold away really well. They don't hold on to any moisture or any water, I should say. And when they do get wet, I'm not drying them out for days. They just sort of shake off and are ready to go again, basically. So they are fantastic products. So a new product that I'm testing today is the all new Covert Mark III. Really, really excited about this product. This is absolutely the right choice for today's climate. It's not cold enough to have a full winter glove on, um, but at the same time, I also need something waterproof. And that's really where the Covert Mark III uh, takes its place. It's got the Knox seal a waterproof membrane. It's quite different to your traditional membrane of a glove, which is basically a bag insert that's then inserted into the glove and stuck to the ends of the fingers. This is entirely different because it's actually bonded directly behind the lever of the glove. That means there's no water that can get in uh, and sit against that membrane and make the glove heavy and cold. This remains really light, really warm and very dry as well. It's a fantastic product. Of course, the other benefit with the Kova is that it's a three season glove. So it doesn't have a huge amount of insulation built into it. And the benefit of that when you're riding the bike is that you just have fantastic tactile feel with all of your controls, your throttle, your brake, your clutch, and all of your instrumentation as well. It's a really, really good riding glove that's perfect for three seasons and basically all but the really coldest weather that we have. The other benefit with the Kova, it doesn't compromise any of the protection. So you've got micro-lock inlays over the knuckles and fingers, and you've got the full scaphoid protection system on the palm. So, you know, while it is a three-season glove, it's non-compromised in terms of its protection. 
So look, I really hope that you've enjoyed that video. That is what I've been wearing and it is fantastic products. I'm gonna put all of the links in the description so you can go and check them out. Please like, please comment. We'd love to hear what you think and we'll see you next time.